37% of you voted for Death Chase. Can I make a Sinclair basic version of this game? Well, let's find out. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Animated Alex. Hope you're doing well. Um, Death Chase. Oh boy, what a nightmare this has been. Now, the first thing that I wanted to try and achieve, if we just look at Death Chase for a moment. So as you can see, the main thing that points out to me is those bloody trees. I've got to try and get those trees moving. So that is what I focused on first, because to me, that is the main part of the game. You're, you're a, a bike racing through a forest. So I had to try and create some sort of tree effect, 3D effect using Sinclair Basic. And I know there's going to be people shouting in the comments, use machine code. Well, the whole idea of these projects, these challenges that I set myself is to see what I can possibly achieve using Sinclair Basic only. No machine code, basic only. I want to see how far I can push the limits and what's actually achievable. And to hopefully make something which is similar to the original and is playable. That is the main thing. It's got to be playable, okay? doesn't matter if it's not exactly the same as the original, it's got to be playable. So anyway, on the screen here, um, <laughs> this is a little program, a little mock program. I'm going to show you a lot of the, the testing programs that I've done before I get to the main bit where I've actually made something that's kind of death chasey. On the screen now, I've, let's, let me run this. So. Those little black blocks, that's my imaginary trees. So if I push M, push Z, I can move them left and right. Now, how I'm doing this, if I go back to the program, line 400, that's my, let's pull it down. So there's um, my first two trees, two graphic blocks, which I've used off the, ZX Spectrum keyboard, or the Spectrum, the retro Spectrum, I should say, using the graphic function and key 8 to give me that um, graphic block. So that's representing my first two trees. And you'll see I've got ink A. Now I'm using variables with ink. So if I come down a minute to Y4, so 406, Y4, if Y4, my Y is my step counter. So at line 30, I've got a uh, let Y equal Y plus one. So that's running. And when it gets to four, it will change A to seven, seven being ink. So looking back at line 400, ink A, A equals seven. It'll, I've got a white background, so it'll then delete that block basically. It'll color over it with, with the color white. Um, and then I've got B equal zero, which is black. So my next line, my next set of trees is at 410. You can see I've got ink B. So now it's turned that into black. Okay. At the beginning, line 10, where my variables were positioned, where I've instructed them first, B was seven. So it was already disappeared. And then again, 420, the last set of trees, 430, if y equals 24, then let c equals 7. Now, what I find is when you've got vertical movement, it's you get a lot of motion blur, a lot of glitching, as you can see there. And that is one of the biggest problems I've got, and I haven't been able to solve it yet. So moving on, and then tried doing something different with a bit of color had the trees moving on their own put an object at the bottom to represent the motorbike in blue um but i still haven't got it right because the trees don't move like that in death chase so i don't know what i was doing i was going down the wrong path really to be fair so yeah i kind of wished the game was like this in this kind of formation because it would have been a lot easier for me but unfortunately it wasn't. So let me show you what I tried doing next. 
So then I moved on further in to try and create the actual scene that we see in Death Chase, um, making the screen smaller, which will help with basic as well, because hopefully it'll move a little bit quicker because it's not we're not moving the whole entire screen. We're just condensing it into a smaller area. That in the middle is meant to be representing my motorbike with two hands grabbing the handlebars. <laughs> Although I, I don't think it looks like a motorbike. I'm not going to say what I think it looks like. Use your imagination. Um, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> if I push Q to accelerate, the trees will start moving. And I've only practicing with one tree at the moment at this stage of the project. So as I progressed, I tried to make the tire move, you know, the wheel move in front. <laughs> Let's move on. Death Crawl, the demo. We're not a motorbike, we're a cyclist. We can't have a motorbike in Sinclair Basic, okay? Because we haven't got the speed. We haven't got an engine, all right? We've only got pedal power. So that's why I've called it Death Crawl. One keyboard, two Kempstone. This is just a demo, it's not the finished article. And I want you to tell me in the comments, should I continue with this project? Or have I done enough? Okay, I'm gonna go for Kempstone. I'm gonna use my joypad and I'll show you what I've achieved. So now we've got our cyclist on his bike. Press Q to start pedaling. At the moment, this is slow speed. If I push up on the joystick, we now increase the speed. If I push down, I go slow again. As you can see, the trees are glitching. But like I said, look at it as motion blur. It's the wind going through your hair as we're going so fast. The trees, you can hardly see them because they're just blurry as you're going past them. <laughs> you don't get that in the original. <laughs> so what do you think? What do you think so far? You know, I, I feel that I've got the, the death chase sort of look. It's almost there. Obviously, it's not going to be 100% perfect. We're probably 10% there. You know, it's... um, It's been fun trying to do it and a, a bit of a head scratcher as well. Like I say, I'm actually moving the screen to get that scrolling effect. And you'll see as well on the cyclist, I've made his head bob up and down while he's turning to try and give you that impression that he's pedaling. I've got to do a bit more work on that bike because it looks more like a pogo stick at the moment. But uh, <laughs> there we go. That is my uh, attempt so far in Sinclair Basic of the famous Death Chase. But my version is called Death Crawl. I mean, this would probably benefit from being put through Encoder Free, the machine code compiler, just to see what the results are like. And uh, we will do that eventually. But um, for now, I'm just going to carry on cycling through this forest. And um, I'll see you on the next one. No doubt there will be a part two. So take care of yourselves. And uh, thank you for watching.